Great to have you. Great to meet you finally. Well, likewise, yeah. I, I know what you look like because I'm a friend of yours on Facebook. But um, again, yeah. again. <laughs> and, uh, he's got some really cool experiments. Can you just throw forward some of those? I, I, mean, I see you've got a um, computer with a camera. You've got a, a glass of Coke. You've got uh, Coke. So that's Coca-Cola. Co- oh, Coca-Cola. Okay. Coca-Cola. No, please. just emphasize that. What mm. I'm going to do is show you a webcam. Mm. But not just any old webcam. It's a webcam with modified bits. So if you dismantle the webcam and take the infrared filter out, and then you take a pair of Ray-Bans and you get the UV and infrared excluding and the normal visible light excluding lenses out, they're, they're polarised, so they get rid of normal light, they just cut down normal light. So if you cross-polarise the Ray-Ban lenses, which is what I've got, this little tiny thing I've got here, yeah. which is just two sunglasses lenses crossed over, if you put those on the front of the webcam, now all it starts to see in is, is infrared. And I'm running it into my computer, and what will be appearing on the screen of the computer, I'm showing a bit, is what the world looks like, largely in infrared, using just a modified webcam. If I ask you, can you see through that glass no. of, of Coca-Cola? No. Uh, it's, in other words, there are things in there which are soaking up visible light, and yes. so the visible light cannot pass through it, so you can't see anything on the other side. But if you watch my computer screen, <laughs> I'll put the um, <laughs> infrared filter on here, and if I put the camera behind the glass of oh, Coca-Cola... Oh, my word! You are now looking at yourself. It's completely God, transparent, joking. and there you are. It's amazing. Through... Uh, a glass of Coca-Cola. So in other words, in, in the infrared regime, Coca-Cola is completely transparent like water. Uh, so the wavelengths of light, which are infrared, they're long wavelengths of light, will go straight through Coca-Cola, unattenuated, whereas visible light gets soaked up. Looks like a glass of water. A if I switch the lights off? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, look at that. So even though the room is plunged into darkness... I can still see myself. Um, you're still very clear. Because there's, a, there's, there's lots of infrared in here, which is bouncing off of your... Uh, shiny head. T-shirt. And yes, you're shiny head. I didn't like to say anything. But you said it. <laughs> um, and so, yes, you can you can see this is a remote control. I discovered, actually, I've brought with me my own Apple remote control. Yeah, I, found, I can control Kino's computer with this, actually. <laughs> but you can, if I point this at the camera, hopefully yeah. not at your computer, Kino, you can no. see you can't see anything coming out of the remote control. No, but I if can't. I point this at the camera, the camera can see you the can. signal which uh, the infrared tr- thing is transmitting. But that means we can also look at sources of infrared in the environment around us. Mm-hmm. And if you look at these two light bulbs, and I'm just painting a picture, for people at home I've got an incandescent light bulb the normal globe that you would buy and plug in and I've got next to it an energy saving bulb and if yeah. I ask you Kino do they look roughly the same brightness to you? Um, yes they do from where yeah. I'm standing if you look at them in infrared and I'll just turn the computer on this is the appearance of those two bulbs in infrared you've said they look to you equivalently bright but if you look in the infrared which one on my screen now looks much brighter? Well the normal light bulb as we um, used to have it and hopefully don't have it in our homes um, and, and the energy saving it looks like it's emitting a lot less. Exactly right. So in other words, the, the normal energy saving, the, the normal light bulb is producing enormous amounts of light you can't see, infrared, whereas the one wow. which is the energy saver is producing a very tiny amount of infrared. So what's the point of using enormous amounts of electricity to produce light you can't see? Uh, so that's why we're being told these are much better for the environment because they are. You're not wasting energy producing lots of heat that you can't actually see. And then you have to run your air conditioner harder to keep the house cold. <laughs> uh, Chris, what a pleasure. Have a good one. Thanks, Kino. See you soon. It's midday in time for the Midday Report with Ray White.